Welcome to another episode of One on One. My name is David and I'm joined by Dr. Emily. And what we do during this series is we talk about issues of importance that will be of interest to all of our Kids Hope USA network. So welcome, Emily. Thanks, Dave. It's a pleasure to be here again today. It's great to have you. Thank you. The question I have for you today relates to reading. And we have heard so often in the past, experts tell us how important it is to read with children. And my uh, proposal to you is that there's so much more to reading than simply the content in the book. And I'm wondering if you can share with us today why it matters that we read with students. Uh, well, first of all, as we all know, reading is a big issue across our country and literacy levels are of great concern to everyone. So it's, it's wonderful that the Kids Hope Mentors will jump into reading. And you know, we've had, we have a Read Together program that's gonna launch soon, and we have heard from teachers across the country that if there's one and only one academic thing that mentors could do with kids consistently, it would be to read together with them because what they find is that the, the students rec recommended into our program typically have a void in their life of somebody at home who has read with them. And it's not the same just to sit on the floor and listen to your teacher read a book. It's a matter of sitting with an adult you trust and love and reading together because what happens is you get to experience the words as they come out and you get to really, it's almost like music. It's one thing to know about music, it's another thing to listen to music because then you can imitate what you've heard and that will help kids learn how to read better and it's like a security blanket. When somebody's reading to you, it just feels good mm -hmm. for students. I would agree to that and in addition, I would say as a mentor reads with a student, it's amazing of the physical contact that occurs when that happens. If either the child is sitting close in proximity or even shoulder to shoulder, there's a physical touch that happens and especially when you're aligned on the same task, there's a relationship that forms in that process of reading that is so valuable, not only for the content, again, the academics, but also for the relationship to develop. Well, and, and I mentioned our Read Together program mm -hmm. that's coming out from Kids Hope USA. And we didn't come up with that on our own. What we did was we formed a collaboration with one of our nation's leading literacy experts, Dr. Marnie Ginsberg, to develop a program specific for the Kids Hope USA setting. So I tell you what, why don't we hear from her why she believes reading together is important? That sounds great. We can find out why it matters. Thank you so much, David and Emily. I'm excited to be working on the Read Together project with Kids Hope USA and for how Read Together will help mentors boost their students' reading ability. Besides the reasons that David and Emily both mentioned, reading with your student is one of the most influential things you can do with your student. The emotional bond that you create when you read together is priceless and each text you read together provides another shared experience that you can build on in the future. Perhaps a little acronym of three W's, WWW, can help you recall other ways in which reading together will likely benefit your student. The first W, world. Read to explore the world along with your student. Take her beyond her seven, eight, or nine years of experience to other worlds other lands and other people, either through nonfiction or fiction. Through reading, you can help her develop a much broader understanding of the world. The second W, written language. She can learn about different styles and flavor of written language through reading much better than she can through spoken language. Even the simplest picture book can expose her to language that is sophisticated and reveals the pattern of the written language. And the final W, words. Your student will acquire so many more words with the books and magazines and websites that you read with him. Again, even the simple picture book 
will have sophisticated words that he doesn't hear when he's talking about going to the grocery store or doing his homework. So remember, the www of world, written language, and words, and the emotional connection you build when you read together. So you can feel confident that the time you spend reading with your student is well worth the investment.